and welcome to City Connection. I'm Officer John Hickson with the Ventura Police Department. This week you're going to learn about Ventura's motor officers. You're going to meet them, learn what they do, and why they do it. We'll also be discussing new traffic techniques, including traffic calming. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Officer Rick Murray at the Ventura Police Department. Many people ask me, why did you become a motor officer and what does the traffic division do for the city of Ventura? In a few moments, we'll explore some of those answers and questions. Well, primarily, to become a motor officer, you first have to be a police officer. Once you're a police officer and have some experience as being a police officer, you may apply or be selected for the motor position. Once you've been selected for the motor position, you attend a rigorous two-week academy that teaches you how to ride the motorcycle efficiently in traffic and enforcing the laws of the road. Well, the reason why we have motor officers is obviously violator. Uh, you can uh, split through traffic, you can get to an uh, accident scenes quicker, and also there's a sense that the motoring public doesn't know where we are. So it kind of uh, puts them on the defensive when they drive and makes them better drivers. The STEPS program is in essence a targeting of pedestrian violations. A lot of our collisions and fatalities result in uh, pedestrians being hit by a motor vehicle. The STEPS program, what that does is it introduces a decoy, if you will, or an officer in street clothes who, in essence, walks across the crosswalks in an attempt to see if people comply with the law. If the people do not comply with the law, a citation is issued by motor officers watching the entire situation. Traffic calming is requests from citizens for specific needs. For instance, uh, speeding on a particular roadway, uh, red light violations. And what the police department does is we selectively enforce those areas. Uh, if you have a speeding problem, we'll send out three or four motor officers to address the speeding problem and get the motorists back into compliance with the speed limit laws. Well, first off, we have the motorcycle. They're BMW uh, R1150s. And they are the most modern technology in police motorcycles. They have anti-lock brakes, and they accelerate rapidly, and they're very agile, therefore making it very uh, conducive to doing law enforcement. We also are equipped with a radio system where we can communicate with our dispatch and other officers which is mounted within our helmets. Uh, we are also equipped with a laser or radar, whichever we prefer. Laser is obviously the, the method of choice due to the fact that it is more precise. It sends out a laser beam that's about three inches at a thousand yards and we can target an individual vehicle within a group of vehicles if we need to. Motor officers are also more trained in traffic collision investigation. I personally have uh, attended intermediate, advanced, and reconstruction in traffic collision investigations. And what that does for the motoring public is it gives them a better product when they're involved in a traffic collision. It gives them someone who investigates it a little bit more thorough and get, get a proper primary collision factor out of a traffic collision that may be more advanced for a patrolman. If you're pulled over by a motor officer, first off, stay calm. Uh, don't argue with the officer. He'll approach you, he'll ask you for your driver's license, registration, and your insurance. Uh, if he's going to write you a citation, he's going to issue a citation. There's no need to argue with him. There's a different forum for that, and that's the, the courthouse. So your best bet is to offer the information that the officer requires. We'll be back with you momentarily, sign the notice to appear, and you'll be sent on your way. Well, the reason why I became a motor officer is everyone drives in traffic on a regular basis. And what's the most irritating thing when you drive in traffic? Someone doing something illegal in front of you. And I thought it would be my opportunity to, to basically cure those ills, if you will, by issuing citations to those drivers that irritate the other drivers on the roadway. It also allows me to interact with the public and also investigate traffic collisions that are caused by traffic violations. Thanks for watching this week's show on City Connection. I'm Officer John Hickson. Until next time, remember, do the right thing.